<laughs> Have a good night. Have a good night. Okay, there you go. A wonderful interview with Bruce and Susan. Yeah, familiar faces to many of you. Uh, and great information about the Singularity University and uh, uh, some of the uh, things going on with accelerating change and indefinite life extension. I want to thank everyone uh, who had some questions there in the chat for this evening. Now, uh, I just want to move on to some of the news of the week uh, that we have. Some announcements here uh, for from the Immortality Institute. And one thing I want to mention is, well, since this graphic has been popping up all the while while I've been doing the show, <laughs> uh, in case anyone is unaware, there is a new life extension organization uh, in Europe focusing on bringing the life extension uh, idea to French and Dutch speaking uh, areas of Europe, and that is HEALS, founded by some uh, Immortality Institute members, and they are going to be putting on a little small concert this summer. Uh, I believe the uh, the date is July 14th in Brussels, Belgium, the Life Aid Against Aging concert. I just wanted to mention that. Uh, get that out of the way first. Heels, yeah, they're working on their website. They're, uh, in fact, they're officially becoming a recognized nonprofit organization in Europe very soon. They're filing their paperwork, so good news there. Great work, you guys. Sven, Didier, uh, and uh, Angelique and all of you, some of you might be in the chat uh, here tonight watching the show. Thanks so much. Uh, also, how about an update on our folding team? Folding at Home, the distributed computing project. Where are we at? The longevity meme team. Look in the middle of the screen there. Position number 88. Out of hundreds of thousands of teams in the world, the team we support, the longevity meme team, uh, is number 88. We haven't moved up in the last week, but we are projected by the early March. No, actually, late February now to move up to spot 87. There's our projection. In 2.5 weeks, uh, if we continue our point output at 251,000 points per day, uh, we'll uh, be up, uh, actually, by the end of March, by the middle of March, we'll be up almost to position number 80. Hey, that's great. So keep on, keep up. And, and in case you didn't know, if you're just watching tonight uh, for the Folding at Home Stanford Distributed Computing Project, the Immortality Institute offers a monthly prize, or no, not monthly, quarterly prize. You could win hundreds of dollars. Uh, just by having your computers at home do folding at home. You can find out information at the Immortality Institute website. Go there. Check it out. Yes, that's our folding team. And something else that happened this week is new members of the Board of Directors. And I want to apologize uh, in case I misspelt some of the names here. I was in kind of a hurry creating this graphic. Uh, but we had four positions that needed to be filled. And here are your new directors. The Immortality Institute governed by seven members, a seven-member board. Four were elected new this year. Eric Schulke, some of you know him as Broken Portal in the forums. Graham Smith, who is Zoolander in the forums. Scott Miller, who is Duke Nukem. And also Jeremy Shepard, who has been the chief navigator uh, at the Immortality Institute over the last year and has done a super job. Hey, great job, Jeremy. I know that you were in the uh, chat here for a while. I can't see the, uh, the user list right now. But I, I, I just want to say a word or two about... Uh, our new directors looks like a great new, um, uh, um, great new panel of people coming in uh, from a wide, diverse, you know, kind of a diverse background. Uh, Zoolander, as you know, he's already got his doctorate in uh, muscle metabolism uh, and aging, uh, and uh, Jeremy Shepard, university student and has been chief navigator, uh, and uh, Eric Shoki, uh, Broken Portal. He's got to be one of the most active members at the Institute. Uh, I think he'll be great at uh, some grassroots organization and getting some projects going. And then also uh, Duke Nukem, uh, many of you are familiar with him. He's passionate about uh, aging. And uh, he's also, uh, of course, a successful business person. So that might be something that we could use on the board as well. Because uh, mainly in the past, the board of directors has come mainly from academia. And uh, we perhaps could use someone with good business sense. And uh, I'm, I'm afraid that he's going to crack the whip and uh, put me to work more hours. <laughs> but may, perhaps that's a good thing. Maybe he can help out with some of the organization uh, and some of the funding of uh, 
of the Immortality Institute. Okay, what else do I got here? Oh, job opening. Let me mention that. Uh, where is that job opening? Here. Yes, for a secretary slash accountant slash website kind of person to all around help out with a bunch of different things. <laughs> now, if you only have, uh, say, HTML expertise, or maybe you've worked with IPB forums or MySQL, uh, MySQL, some of this stuff, you know, we would take an applicant uh, who knows some web and software stuff, uh, but perhaps doesn't want to do accounting. We could do that. Uh, or we could have someone do some of our accounting for the Institute without having to worry about uh, some of the other things such as uh, you know software issues. Uh, right now, this position is uh, presumed to be a, a part-time job about 18 hours a week. Um, and we preferably would go with Immortality Institute members, someone, some people we knew are familiar with, uh, but anyone can send a, a resume uh, and cover letter to support at immense.org, support at immense.org, or uh, if, you know, you can just contact me as well. Look for MIND in the Immortality Institute forums. Uh, and, whoa, I see in the chat, Almighty One says he's going to put four PS3s up and running. You know what? With four PS3s, you will be in the running for a quarterly prize. Uh, because I think four PS3s will get you three, 4,000 points per day or more, depending if you have them optimized or not. Uh, and that would get you in the prize money. And, of course, uh, Life Extension Foundation uh, offers prizes to everyone who folds. Uh, six-month membership for uh, toward the Life Extension uh, Foundation, which gets you discounts on all their products and stuff like that, and they also offer gift certificates for people who fold. So there you go, job opening, accountant or secretary or both together. I was getting to the point where 600 per month. That's what uh, the, the position pays if you can do both kind of the software side of things or and the accounting side of things, one or the other. You still get some money. Uh, maybe think about it. Just think about it. That's all I'm asking. Something else that uh, we're hoping to get going a little bit more is organization of the Immortality Institute Wiki. Yeah, if you go to the home page here and you click on resources, you'll see the wiki section there. And it would be really great if we could uh, turn the wiki into uh, a very valuable resource for society at large. Uh, you know, we added just recently a supplements and lifestyle section. I know a lot of you like to talk about different supplements and diets and exercise and all of that. Hey, if you got a little nugget of knowledge, all members can edit the wiki. Go right in there and go to town. Go to town. That's what I'm telling you. Um, here's another shot of the Im Immortality Institute wiki. You know, I think between the wiki and the forums, we could have some of the the most semantically in-depth and connected content on the entire web in the entire world. Uh, it's possible. Right now, we have so much great information in the forums, but one of the things that people often comment on that is a little bit of a drawback is that it's slightly unorganized, right? We all know it. I mean, people go there. That's one of the assets of the, of the Institute forums is that they're open. They're kind of grassroots, kind of an organic, uh, kind of an organic uh, organization of the forums, and uh, it's not, you know, just laid out in neat little chunks, right? You have to kind of dig through it. Well, with the wiki, uh, we certainly could organize it a bit more, and then we can take that content and publish it. Maybe, do, um, you know, publish dietary guidelines or the most up-to-date supplement research, things like that. Uh, I think it could it could be great. Uh, for the Institute and benefit society at large, that's for sure. We talked a little bit about the HEALS organization, but you might remember also M Fury, the Methuselah Foundation Undergraduate Research Initiative. Last year, the Immortality Institute uh, did provide $2,000 worth of scholarship money. And you can see here is some of the research that's uh, being done, some of the activities being done by M. Fury glucosapan research, uh, tau protein research that's uh, responsible for Alzheimer's. And I should say glucosapan uh, is one of those advanced glycation end products in your body, the junk that builds up as you age. And it's one of the primary reasons why skin gets wrinkled is because of the buildup of the glucosapan. Uh, and some institute members, have uh, been investigating this already, and perhaps we can get some research going with the Undergraduate Research Initiative here, M. Fury, I'll put up the web.